Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Average Club. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Aftermath. So, uh, Netflix. It just came out today. Got the notification. Hour and 54 minutes long. It is like 5.4 on IMDb. Uh, only 445 people have rated it so far. Um, but it stars um, Ashley Green and... Let me think of the other guy's name real quick. As I started, Sean Ashmore. So Ashley Green, we know from Twilight, uh, and amongst other things. Um, and Ashmore, we know, I know, from Smallville. He was Jimmy Olsen in the old Smallville show. Um, which, I, I do like Superman and Lois as well. But I always love Smallville. Anyway, this is about a couple who is desperate to save, desperate to save their marriage. And they move into some house. Uh, their dream home and there's some disturbing events um, and there's some trouble history at the house so interesting you know if you have Netflix you know what I'm talking about if you click into it it automatically starts playing right I just want to click in and see some more information about it but you can't do that without the movie continuing to play so I have to stop doing that my point being when I did that it says it's based on a true story so that's kind of cool so I'm excited to see it it's a scary haunted house kind of movie, but uh, like I mentioned, an hour and 54 minutes just came out. Let me get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, and let you know what I think. Stick around. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Aftermath, and uh, no check-ins, because really, it, it was kind of what they said. There wasn't much to tell you otherwise, uh, the couple is uh, I'll give you some insight but the couple was uh, you know on the fritz if you will because there was some infidelity um, that had happened so they decide hey let's change the scenery and they move into a house that had a murder suicide in it which then becomes haunted you know um, and it's interesting because they play that part in the beginning that says based on true events so you have to think okay there's something going on here so your whole time you're watching this and you're trying to think, like, how is this actually happening? Is it really based on true events? You know, and there's got to be some way um, to explain it all, right? Um, so that, that, you know, that's the whole movie, really. Uh, the two of them um, trying to repair their marriage, why this is going on, and all this crazy stuff's going on. There's some trust issues, as you can imagine. So when there's so something that happens, the other one does not believe the other one, so on and so forth. So, um you know, and then, you know, the, the person who was uh, the who, the cheater finds the mister, mistress, whatever you call it, you know, um, that gets involved here. So, um, you know, there's a little bit of backstory here and there. And you think you got to figure it out. And, and they lead you down a couple of different paths to help you try and figure it out. And, um, you know, then I guess they explain what, what really goes on. And, uh, you know, I, I, I thought it was pretty good. I think there's some pieces that uh, I think this could have been five more minutes longer. I think we needed a little bit more, to be honest with you. I mean, you can piece it together yourself, but uh, I think that, you know, a little a helping hand would have made it a little bit better. And there's also one other piece that they didn't, they didn't go into too much detail with um, at all. And I thought, you know, they, they show a little bit, but... I don't know. It's hard for me to explain without going into too much detail, but um, I don't know. Um, so I'll give you some of the characters. So we got Sean Ashwood and uh, Ashley Green are the couple together. She has a sister and a mother. He has two friends. Really, and then you know, there's a couple other characters in it, but uh, I don't know. I was gonna try and try and sneak in what I'm talking about without giving it away, but I'm not gonna do that. So. Um, for Netflix, you know, I enjoyed it. Like I said, I thought it was the interesting piece of it being it was based on, a, on true events and now, you know, it seems like it's all haunted, so what is going on? And that made it that made it fun, you know, kind of like a mystery to me. Um, and I'd love to know more about it. I'd love to know what the real story is and, and, and find out a little bit more because that, that would be interesting. But you don't know how much they embellished on and... All that kind of stuff. And what they ended up doing was, uh, okay. I know. I'm talking in riddles. I apologize. I think it's worth watching if you like these kinds of scary mystery movies. Haunted house type stuff. I think it's uh, it's worth watching. So, 
check it out. That's all I can say. I am going to say one thing at the end of this, so if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, um, but I'm going to get into a little bit of a spoiler alert for those of you who have seen it. So, again, if you haven't seen it, now's your chance. Jump off, watch my next video, whatever. All right, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Now, the sister thing, right? And I'm pretty sure she was one in the bed at the end, okay? But, I mean, like a month later... They seem a little too pleasant to, you know, with their sister dying. Was the only, you know, I didn't think, and what is the true story behind the the the, the, the original guy, the, the guy, the, whatever his name was, Ken or something like that, the basement guy, right? What's the whole backstory there? I guess we can all be left to guess, but I'd love to know a little bit more, you know? I mean, it could, like I said, you can piece it together, but I thought it would have been better if... Uh, they gave us a little bit more. All right, that's it. Um, so if you stuck with me this long, I appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, of course, as always, continue to tune in. Kimball's Irish Pub.